words and you said it And your face can say it all So I know you meant it And if I lose my way Will I know where to find you? Will I know where to find you? So crazy story. <laughs> um, this is actually how me and Tegan started talking. Really? Because yeah. of socks? This is because of these socks, yes. We uh this is crazy. She went as she was at a store and yes. Uh, we, she went to a store and this is like the first time she ever snapchatted me, but she snapchatted me pictures of the socks because I had a flamingo in my car. And How awesome is this? Are you guys happy? Yeah. Good. That's question number one. If you're not happy, we're going to start this thing over. 
So it's been a joy for you guys to include me in this. My wife and I were talking about how long we've known both of you, and it's been over a decade. So you with soccer, and whenever I think about Tegan and soccer, I think about fire. Because there'd be a moment in almost every game where all of a sudden, the look in your eye would come out, and the game changed from soccer to like MMA, or bowling, and you are the striker, and 10 players are going down. And I'm like, okay. And then you had your knee, I'm like, oh, because I thought, next year, championship. No, Tegan's out. And then you came back. And I think about halfway through the season, I'm like, the fire's back, because there was bowling again. And what a great thing, championship. You're awesome. Thank you for inviting me to be part of this. Brandon, I can remember you playing drums in middle school. That was so awesome. And then my favorite part about you is we got to hike, I don't know how many miles, but a bunch of miles on the Pacific Crest Trail. And there are two things that stood out to me about you. Number one is we would hike for like 50 miles and you are carrying everything. So it's go light, right? Like people take their toothbrushes and they cut off part of the toothbrush to make it lighter. I personally would just get a stick and some moss. I was that serious about going lightweight. Because you carry one, one extra pound for 50 miles, it burns like 750 million calories, which I do not have. So I would be really lightweight. So one morning, I hear this buzzing sound. We're 60 miles from anything. I hear a buzzing sound. I'm like, what in the world is that? Guess what it was? Brandon and his dad with their two pound sonic cares brushing their teeth. I'm like, well, that is a son who has learned well from his dad. And I like that. <laughs> yeah, my favorite story is this. It's that year I got sick, which was not a fun year for me. And then we we're at that camp spot where to get water, you had to hike a mile straight down. And it was like a mud pond, filter your water, and then hike a mile straight back up. So in the evening, I did it. And we used up all our water. And in the morning, it was... We have 20 miles in front of us, and we need to hike down a mile and hike back up a mile. And you and Peyton Logue said, you know what, we'll volunteer to do it. And guess what I did? I let you do it. That's what I did. <laughs> I love that about you. Because that is, to me, if we're talking key, key to marriage, there's lots of important things. Communication is important. Empathy is important. Seeing things through each other's eyes is important. Love is important. But I think there is a thing that goes over all of those. And I'm sure Mark talked to you about having a mission statement for your marriage. Well, Jesus has this mission statement. And I think Jesus' mission statement is so perfect for marriage because if you can get what Jesus does, oh my goodness, marriage becomes magical, marvelous. So this is Jesus' mission statement. It's found in Matthew 20, 28. He says this, The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve hike straight down a mile and get water for someone else and hike straight out to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. You're not marrying a dishwasher and you're not marrying a lawnmower, right? It's not about getting something, right? Here's what I want from you guys. I want you guys today to engage in a lifelong competition with each other. But it's not a competition about who can spend more money. We know who wins at that game. I know all the husbands are looking at their wives, but let's be honest. Haircuts are cheap compared to quads. Not that. Not who's better at the blame game. Don't compete on that. Don't compete on who can get the channel changer first or argue about who does more. Here's the competition. Who can outserve the other? How can I serve you better? How can I serve in keeping the house clean? How can I serve in fixing meals? 
cleaning the dishes, deciding what to watch on TV. Serve. It is to me Jesus Christ's mission statement, and it's magical in marriage. I'm going to serve you my whole life. Today, I'm going to compete to outserve you every day. So you serve. And then he says, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Brandon, if you're getting married today to get a wife, look out, you'll lose. Tegan, if you're getting married today to get a husband, it's not gonna work. You get married not to get, but to give yourself to one another. I'm here not to get something from you, I'm here to give myself to you. It's how to become one, right? How do two lives become one life? Well, someone has to die. And the best marriage is two people saying, I'll die so the other person can live. And what happens is something brand new happens. There's something, I, I can't explain it. You can't put words to it. It's a miracle to become one. And it's brilliant and it's beautiful and it's amazing. So what it means is this, you wake up every morning and you're praying saying, how do I make Tegan's dreams come true today? And you're waking up every morning and you're saying, Jesus, how do I make Brandon's dreams come true today. You're praying, not change her, rather change me so I fit. Change me so I fit into her life. That's what you're saying. It's brilliant and it's beautiful. It's incredible. It's Jesus Christ's mission statement. And I'm telling you, if you'll get this down, real simple, serve, and I'm giving my life away to my spouse. And you're, it, it's, it's, the sky is the limit. No one will see a marriage better than your guys's. So the vows, here's the really, really, really big question. Every other question has been pretty big. This is the big one. Do you take Tia to be your wife? Okay. Do you have a vow that you've written? Tegan Michelle, I've prayed for this, or I prayed for this day for a long time, unknowingly of who that girl was going to be. To be standing here with you, I knew this was it. That God had a plan. He showed me how powerful He really is. And He brought you into my life. He placed you by my side. He gave me something I could have never even imagined. He placed this beautiful girl with qualities I never knew existed. Tegan. You are the most beautiful girl ever. You're the most incredible girl I've ever met. You're my best friend my biggest supporter, my inspiration, and my true love. I stand here today just in awe of your beauty, your smile, your laugh, and most of all, your love for God. Take it in just who you are. When I say I do, I pray that every day will be the proof of that. That will grow and deepen our relationship, not only in each other, but in God. I promise to be your biggest supporter through life and to always be here for you. I vow to listen and reflect when needed and to speak and guide when you need me. I promise to be here forever to you. I love you so much. What token do you have of these vows? Ring. Great. <laughs> so as you put that ring on, repeat after me. Tegan. Tegan. With this ring, 
with this ring. I promise my love. Promise my love. And to remain faithful. To remain faithful. As long as we both shall live. As both as we both <laughs> shall live. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Improvise. That's part of very important part of marriage too. <sighs> awesome. Okay. Now here is the biggest question. You've all been big. This is the biggest. Do you take Brandon to be your husband? I do. Yes. <laughs> do you have vows? Yes. Okay. Brandon, since the day I met you, you have always been able to brighten my day. You make every day better just by being who you are. You are adventurous, loving, selfless, caring, and everything I've ever prayed for in a husband. As your wife, I vow to lift you up when you are down and push you forward when you need it. I vow to passionately love you without condition and to bring laughter and excitement into our marriage. I vow to be your best friend through all of life's adventures and endure the hard times by your side and cherish the good times. I vow to be compassionate and understanding, having the patience love demands to trust, honor, and respect you from this day forward. I love you. Do you have a token of your vows? Yeah, it's a ring. All right. So, as you put the ring on, repeat after me. Brandon. Brandon. With this ring. With this ring. I promise my love. I promise my love. And to remain faithful. And to remain faithful. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. All right. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. This. So, really, you guys are married. You vowed to each other. And you've decided that the first thing you want to do is something Jesus said is a way to remember him. And it's at the table in communion. <laughs> Jesus, thank you. Thank you for these two. Thank you for the pledges they've made to each other. Thank you for the time they've spent at your table. Now I pray by the power of your spirit, you would enable them to be what they're supposed to be. We pray this in your name. Well, it is my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife you may kiss your bride. Let me be the first to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Brandon Pugh.